Hello and welcome. In this match, I am in the new tier 9 German battleship, Friedrich der Grosse. Let's cut uh, right to the chase. I think that she is an okay ship. She feels fine at tier 9 compared to the other tier 9 battleships. The match itself is um, kind of at night, so uh, it's like 7 versus 7, so it's a lot smaller, but I chose this match because uh, it shows off the fact that, uh, well, the tier 9 battleship has ra uh, Hydro, and Hydro is rather useful against destroyers. And I didn't have all that many matches in the tier 9 one that show this off. So, um, the reason why I think that she is fine is, well, first of all, my stats with her are fine compared to the other tier 9 battleships. At the end, I'll just show you guys. And uh, the specs of the ship seem okay. Like, uh, I don't have any problems with her. Because most of the tier 9 battleships aren't all that great anyway. Uh, she just feels fine. Like, I, I, I find it odd that uh, the Grossa Kurfürst is uh, so similar to stats to the Friedrich. Because, uh, well, one is tier 9, the other one is tier 10. Like, during testing, uh, the Grossa Kurfürst had like 88,000 HP, which is 4,000 more than the Friedrich. And that just seems weird. Um, but if you look at the stats, like, the HP is similar, the armors are similar. Yes, um, the Friedrich only has 8 guns, but the others just have 9, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, they are... Like, she is in the middle between Izuma and Iowa in speed. Uh, concealment is in the middle. AA is in the middle. Secondaries might actually be better than Izuma. Uh, their, her turrets uh, rotate faster, and she also has bigger guns. So, uh, the thing is that Friedrich der Grosse gets uh, to choose between 406mm four, and 420mm guns. Mostly, I haven't really found much use for it, but what I did here, this is hearsay, though, is that 420mm um, guns uh, allow you to overmatch 29mm of armor. Uh, 406 is 28, so that's one extra millimeter, which can make the difference if you shoot that many targets with it. What I heard is that uh, Montana in many places has uh, uh, 29 millimeters of deck armor or something like that, so Friedrich might be good against that. But other than that, I feel like uh, the choice between the two is mostly just up to your own preference, because overall, in numbers, it seems more or less equal. In the match itself, um, this is a tier 9 battle. Well, it's it's tier 10, but the enemies don't have tier 10 battleships, and neither do we. The tier 10s are the other types of ships, and, uh, well, we went towards C at first, but then saw that, saw that there were too many enemies, so we went towards B, and we will be, you know, fighting them here. The interesting thing uh, that I like about the ship is that her anti-air actually numerically can output more DPS than Friedrich, or sorry, the, than the Grossa Kurfürst, because, uh, well, the Kurfürst is mostly focused on longer range anti-air, and uh, Friedrich is, you know, the average anti-air, the ranges that battleships usually have. The, the unique thing, like I mentioned about the ship, is the hydrocaustic search, which is about 5.7 kilometers or something. It's essentially equal to more or less what the uh, German cruisers have. And I find that this actually gives uh, Friedrich a rather significant advantage in certain si situations. Like during um, situations where you know you'll be fighting a destroyer. You'll be seeing those torpedoes so much earlier. And I feel that this kind of stuff actually might put Friedrich above the Iowa and Izuma. Because let's be fair, those two battleships aren't all that great, uh, you know, in general. So, it, it doesn't take all that much to get over her. I feel like, um, I, I don't think Hydra makes her OP. I, I just think it makes her unique, or, well, as unique as it gets. Uh, in this match, I have uh, a full secondary build. Uh, you might have seen it earlier. And, uh, well, this means that I have 10.6 km secondary range, and wow, goodbye, Izuma. I guess that was, that's what happens if you beat your ship. Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, 
the secondary thing is actually rather common on these higher tier uh, German battleships. You can get 10.6 km secondaries on Bismarck, Friedrich and uh, Kurfürst. So that, that's what I do, because the secondaries are definitely very useful. Uh, I, I find that uh, they might even be more useful than the torpedoes and the tirpits, because, uh, you know, you are more likely to be within 10.6 kilometers of an enemy than uh, below 6 kilometers. And the cool thing is that most of the secondaries on German battleships fire HE, unlike uh, Japanese battleships, which means that they are very nicely suited towards uh, being incredibly annoying and damaging towards battleships. Because, you know, HE's set fires and Fires are the bane of the existence for battleships. I mean, so far, c consider the fact that this is a six versus sorry, seven versus seven, and I've already done sixty-three thousand damage. And look, look, look at that Iowa. My secondaries are already opening up, and because I have manual secondaries, the, a lot of them are going to hit. Like you'll start seeing the secondary number start growing like crazy. One thing that does bother me with the ship is that her guns are. It seems, at least, even less accurate than uh, what the Tirpitz gets. Uh, I mean, in this match it's not as apparent, but it's more or less that way. And because, you know, you, you also get 8 guns, it's... You don't hit all that many times, at least not all the time. So, so you have these bouts where you get nice accuracy like I have in this match so far. But you also get these matches where you get like absolutely horrible accuracy. Okay, wow, that Iowa just just disappeared. Okay, well, that was a whole bunch of secondary damage, so um, because there's a cyclone, uh, the kebab is the next important target. The unfortunate thing is that secondaries are rather unlikely to hit TDs. That's, that's, that's a bit sad, but uh, I guess it is what it is. They are destroyers after all. We are actually rather lucky in this match that uh, one of our cruisers went to C and is capping it because we are definitely losing B and will not be able to hold on to it for very long because, well, there's a cyclone coming and, um, well, they are in a position to hold B and they have a kebab in B. I, tur I tell my team, especially the battleships next to me, that we should go into B and I'm gonna start turning my ship around. Uh, I'm not that afraid of going into, you know, a destroyer. My main complaint about going into them is that, well, if I start going now, I'm gonna take a million damage before I get anywhere close where, you know, I'm gonna be a threat to them because uh, the kebab will just fire from smoke. But fortunately, the smoke was positioned in a way which may meant that uh, the Hindenburg wasn't spotting me and the battleship was behind an island. And now that the cyclone is approaching, my render distance is gonna, you know, lower, so it's going to not be that big of a deal. We're mostly going to try to uh, contest B. So, um, I'm not gonna use Hydro before I actually get into a range where I think it might be useful. Because if I use it way too early, I'm just gonna waste it on nothing. I'm gonna try using the Scout Plane instead. Uh, just in case she shoots torpedoes like at this current time. I find it unlikely, but it's possible. Also still have to deal with the Hindenburg, who also has torpedoes. The one thing that uh, the German battleships lack is uh, torpedo defense. Like, uh, at tier 9 it's not that big of a deal because, uh, well, even if you have, what's that, 27% torpedo defense? Something like that. Then the other battleships, Iowa and Izuma, are similar, so it's not that big of a deal, but it's very different than tier 10. Because the other battleships do have decent torpedo defense system, whereas the whereas the Kurfürst doesn't, so... It's pretty different, and I feel like this Hindenburg screwed up by torpedoing there. I'm just gonna turn the other way and try to torpedo again, I think, but I, I don't think it'll really work out. I'm gonna still try to keep my distance, I also don't want to show her flat broadside because uh, the Hindenburg has this nasty habit of torpedoing, uh, sorry, for APing uh, battleships. Secondaries are gonna work on her, oh my god, okay this is bad, I'm getting sandwiched by a Hindenburg and a Kebab. 
Uh, luckily, oh, there's that island. I'm gonna use that island to keep between me and the kebab. That way the kebab can't torpedo me. I used hydro so that, you know, I'm gonna be able to see all the torpedoes even if the kebab fires them from quite far away. Hindenburg probably wanted to fire more torpedoes, but fortunately it didn't work out. So, kebab, three kilometers. He is inside smoke, but it doesn't matter because I have hydro up. I'm gonna stop here, I'm gonna keep this island between me and the kebab for as long as possible and I'm gonna fire my guns. While I was playing the match, I wasn't certain whether I should be using HE or AP. Like, I, I didn't know. But I think the kebab... I think he expects to disappear, but he doesn't seem to quite realize that I'm using Hydro. And that he isn't gonna disappear, so he should really be firing his guns. And these secondaries are doing a number on her. I'm, I think I'm gonna get torpedoed here. Okay, yeah. L look, I had too much of my nose sticking out from behind Janet, but if I were the other way around, she could just, you know, uh, torpedo the behind of the ship. But uh, it still worked out. Like, I I managed to sit in this uh, capstone for long enough so that, well, first of all, we got the capstone, and second of all, we managed to deal enough damage to the kebab so that, uh, well, she died. The reason why I say that the kebab should have fired her guns is that, uh, well, she wasn't doing anything, and uh, she could have decapped uh, some of the base capping, so it would have taken longer. It wouldn't have changed much, but it should have. It would have been the right thing to do. But anyways, uh, as you could see, Hydra was incredibly useful here. Like I knew that I didn't have to do evasive maneuvers to dodge these shells. Oh, sorry, these torpedoes. And the secondaries also showed uh, themselves rather well because they dealt with the Hydra. If I um, if I hadn't had Hydro, that Kebab would have just sat there in the smoke, although I think she still messed a little bit up. She got a bit too close, at 2 kilometers she will definitely be spotted. So that, that one was a bit of a mess up as well, but uh, even then, if she had stayed a little bit further, Hydro would have just negated all of it. But, but if I hadn't had Hydro, that would have just made a huge difference because the some other thing could have spotted for them and that kebab could have just opened fire and killed everything. So yeah, anyways, uh, we're gonna win this match because it's a Zao and Tirpitz against the Tirpitz. The Tirpitz is getting absolutely destroyed, so I'm gonna jump just to the end of the match. Finally, the game ended. Uh, took a while, but at least it happened. So, um, in this match I did 140,000 damage, check that out. 197 secondary hits, 4 citadel hits, 5 fires, the fires were completely from secondaries, so that one probably did quite a bit of damage. I ended up sinking 3 ships in a 7 ship game, and I got 2661 base experience. I didn't get high caliber though, so that, that's a bit unfortunate, but uh, it still worked out, I was head and shoulders above everyone else, but I think the Zao won us the game, so... I'm gonna just compliment him. In the detailed report you'll see that I did 140,000 damage total, but 30,000 of this damage was purely secondaries. And a lot of it was on the kebab. I'm sorry, but you you just... Sorry, a lot of it was apparently on the Hindenburg, some of it was on the kebab, but look at this, 15,000 to the Hindenburg. Like, these secondaries are very strong and useful. And I feel like they do make quite a difference at times. Fortunately, my five fires only resulted in less than 4,000 damage. And I took a total of 148,000 damage, so... This means the ship can take some punishment. So, like I mentioned earlier, I think Friedrich der Grosse is a fine tier 9 ship. I will be going over the stats of the ship later. Um, these are my stats that I had with the ship while I was playing it, compared to Izumo and Iowa. Uh, average damage is very similar to the other two, and uh, amount of kills is lower though, but on the bright side I won more games. Of course, this might be a bit biased, because people are uh, more likely to shoot new ships, which might affect the stats that uh, you know I would have normally, but overall... I find that 
she performed okay. I didn't have many problems with her. So I, I do mention this all the time because I heard so much about people having problems with uh, or thought that uh, Friedrich and the tier and the tier nine and tier ten German battleships would be terrible and would have many problems. But I think that the tier nine one is fine. Like. Uh, if Wargaming does think she is too weak, she could just slightly adjust her and I think she would be okay. Unlike, you know, the Kurfürst, but um, that's another story. One thing I would like to mention is that her size isn't all that exaggerated compared to uh, many of the other ships. Or, sorry, compared to the Kurfürst. Uh, people talk about Kurfürst being too massive, but uh, the ship was, isn't. She is about the size of an Izumo, more or less. So um, now let's talk about the stats of the ship. Uh, these are the stats of the ship, what they say in the game. But uh, actually they are the same as they are on the Wikipedia page. So let, let's let's instead look at those. Because those are just better because, uh, you know, I don't have to show all the other different ships and we can e more easily compare them. So the, the Friedrich does have less range than the Iowa and Izumo both. This is definitely true. Her dispersion is, um, well, numerically, it says that it's better than the Iowa on this sheet, but technically, if you look at dispersion uh, per kilometer, then it's worse than the Iowa, and I believe that uh, her Sigma is also worse, so it, it isn't very helpful. But uh, on the bright side, though, um, armor-wise, armor they seem very similar. For some reason, Friedrich seems to have better... Uh, armored uh, and better armored deck and you know better gun casemate armor but more or less it's a f it's the same dpm wise she probably loses a bit because she has one less gun but her guns do turn faster which can be quite useful in uh, brawl type situations her secondaries are better than the iowa for sure and uh, not quite as good as Actually, no, I'm not sure. It's difficult to say if they're better or worse than the Izumo, but the fact that they have so much of the secondaries as HE, like this only fires HE, and, well, so does this one. It, it, it just means that your secondaries are more likely to do damage, because for some reason AP secondaries just aren't very useful. And, um, well, what else is there? Oh, there's also Antier. Uh, she fits nicely between the Izumo and Iowa. She isn't as exaggerated as uh, Iowa and Antier, but she is at least a little bit better than the Izumo, which puts her in a completely fine spot. Her top speed is also between Izumo and Iowa at 30 knots. Her turning circle is worse than Iowa and Izumo both though, not by much, but it's a bit worse. She does have better rudder shift by um, 2 seconds from over both of them. And concealment is also in between uh, Iowa and Izumo. She feels like that completely fine tier 9 ship and I don't actually have many problems if if you want to play tier 9 I would actually I think I would actually pick this ship over the other ones because uh, well you don't have to get the reload module you could always just get the range module if this is a problem so I mean it just feels okay I, I don't have many complaints about the ship and if somebody else thinks that she is bad, um, that'll that'll baffle me, to be honest. She just doesn't have that many issues, in my opinion. And essentially, that's what I think about the ship. I am definitely going to pick her. But she isn't my favorite of the line. My favorite of the line is definitely the Bismarck. There is nothing else that comes even close. Except maybe with the Bayern, but... Anyways, that's the other videos. So now I'd like to thank uh, patrons on Patreon. Uh, let's go with Icarus today. Thank you very much for your continued support. And uh, I hope I see you guys next time.